Yeah, so I'm gonna take the train all the way into downtown Chicago. So I'm gonna take the bus back to the airport and catch the train from there. I always wanted to be like a flight attendant because they get like free travel all the time, but I've never seen a plus size flight attendant. Um, they always told me that you had to be a certain size. Now I've been 240 for the last five years. Um, the only time I lost weight is when me and Deshaun broke up for those, I think it was like five months before we got married. Um, so today I've just been seeing all these plus size flight attendants, yes. So I think I really wanna try to be a flight attendant. I know I just got a job as like a residential counselor, but like, you guys know how I feel about travel though. Cause when you're a flight attendant, you get to travel for free. For free. <laughs> so I think that I'm gonna look into that as soon as I get home because yeah, it's like it's a weight on me. But if I can get away with being a flight attendant and having my weight on me, then life will be good, honey. Life will be good. And I heard that they only have to work like three days out of the week, but like they work a lot of hours on those three days and then they come home and they're home for like a certain amount of days. So I think I'm ready for this lifestyle. I think I'm trying to travel. Even though like you live in an airport, I don't know how much um, outside of the airport you get to be in, but we'll see. I got a lot of gang violence. So like in here, like a lot of these say like, stop the gang, stop the violence. So that's kind of cool, like his artwork. But that was just interesting. So there's a difference between the trains in Boston and the trains in Chicago. The trains in Boston, a lot of them are underground. The trains in Chicago are above ground and they are up. So basically like the, the people drive underneath the train line, which is different for me because, I mean, it's a new experience because the train lines in Boston are not, um, they're underground. They go underground, but these ones, like, we're going in between the buildings and everything, so it's so interesting, the new experience, because I've never had a train that goes over the city versus under the city. Um, if I can get a chance and get it on film, I'll show you guys um, the difference when you go know, it's over the city versus under the city. which is very different from Boston. So, yeah, wow. Um, I'm enjoying, I'm on my way to Millennium Park. And, um, gonna see what's going on there. Look at all that. Fancy, fancy, see? We're like above the city. <laughs> So many people who come to Chicago, they talk about this big silver bean in Millennium Park. Millennium Park. So, I'm here near the bean. <laughs> That's so cool. They're like taking their pictures with their bikes near the bean. Bean. I've made it, Jasmine. <laughs> Jasmine. 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 <laughs> Whatever one you prefer. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. You can see yourself. There's the bean. I've made it. It kind of blends in if you guys like can't see it. That's so crazy <laughs> from far away vision, you know, where we are because it kind of like blends into the city. Chicago. Big old Chicago sign above me. You see it? <laughs> I'm actually in Chicago, you guys. That's crazy. Hey, Chi Town. Hey, hey, hey. All right, you guys, the moment, the moment, moment we've been all been waiting for 
here's the place where I'm gonna go to get my stuff. Crust pizza, I'm so excited. Well, stuffed crust, deep dish pizza, excuse me, Lord. <laughs> That's too so funny. Few to go, instead of eating it here, but um, the restaurant's nice. I'll have to show you guys what it looks like. Oh, so <laughs> the moment we've all been waiting for. The reason why I came all the way to Chicago. Go, go, go. Just kidding. All right, so here is my pizza. Um, If you guys don't know, my favorite pizza is hamburger and onion. But lately I've been eating a lot of ham, Hawaiian pizza, which is ham and pineapple. So I got a ham and pineapple pizza. Um, so there it is, that lovely deep dish. Uh, what does it look like? I'm scared. It's so thick. Oh my gosh. It was like, it was $20 for this small pizza. $20, that's crazy. Like, let's look at my chin. Like, they're so expensive. So, um, but hopefully they're really good. I would try it right now, but I got calamari so I can get a little full. Because I want to bring home Deshaun a slice or two or three. So he can try it because he didn't get to come with me. Because I left him behind my body. I love you, my body. So, yes, I can't wait to try it. I'm excited. Let me actually try some of this pineapple, though. Mmm. Yes, it's nice and sweet. Hey. Mmm, I was excited. This is so great. I don't want to, like, I'm scared. Uh, I've never been so scared to, like, I don't think they cut it good enough for me. Okay, I'm going to try to break it apart. Hey, you guys. I have something to say. I got my deep dish pizza. And I ate a slice out of it. Um, but I have something else to say. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> no pizza. Will ever come close to my stash's pizza in Boston. I'm in love, okay? It's good pizza, don't get me wrong. The millions of layers of cheese I could live without. Mm, the way the sauce is on top, unique. The sauce is not sweet like in Boston. And um, it just doesn't taste like stashes. The crust doesn't taste like stashes. Excuse me. If that's just, this is my pizza. But you know, all in all, I had a good time. And I enjoyed coming out to Chicago um, to just have an experience 